Tactical Thursday, everybody. Uh, before I even get started, I got a sunrise for you. Check it out. Isn't that awesome you see how the waves are like picking up we got a really uh we've been having a really nice full moon there's a storm just thousands of miles out but mainly that moon it causes that with the ocean in fact when i got done back there with the sunrise and i came walking back here to my shop check this out this is the moon over the matanzas river which is the intercoastal which is right behind me here. I have the intercoastal behind me and the Atlantic Ocean that way. So check out this moon. Isn't that cool? Sun to the east, moon to the west. Absolutely love it. Okay, this is Tactical Thursday. I've gone light. I'll explain that in a second. I got my Streamlight Wedge flashlight, USB port, deep pocket carry, waterproof. You got your momentary switch, 300 to 1,000 lumens. I carry that every day here at work. Got to have it. And I have my Spyderco Delica 4 VG10 partial serrated blackout, second Japan. I carry this seven days a week. This is all I'm carrying, folks. This is a lot back, by the way, for those new subscribers. That's a lot back. So, that's all I'm carrying other than my Ridge wallet, my Ridge key case. And I'll tell you why. I'm fixing to leave here, and my wife's having a minor, nothing serious, procedure done. And I'm going to get her there to the place, and uh, we're going to have it done. I'll be sitting in the waiting room, so maybe I'll be able to answer some more uh, comments. I appreciate the comments. Uh, and then I do have a mail call that came in last night, the box. I haven't even opened the box. It's another Smith & Wesson Military and Police Series. And we'll do a mail call today. And, of course, I'll do my shop talk. This is Tactical Thursday. I'll come up with something tactical. But right now, excuse me, right now, I am just floored. Can you see me? Yeah. I, I It's blowing my mind. I, I try to comment. You know, I see it, it comes across my email. And I've got, this blows my mind, man. This is not Facebook, you know? Uh, it just blows my mind. How many of you, my fellow YouTubers, how many of you have, does it matter, do you have female, male, uh, blade brothers and sisters? Yeah, I do. And I bought a knife. I won't even mention the knife because you'll go to it and you'll see the comments going on. But I bought a knife solely on this female great outdoors person, knowledgeable with knives, goes to the blade shows all the time, uh, great sponsors. So she showed this $19 knife at Lowe's and I went up and got it. It's a perfect tool for here at work. I got it in my toolbox right now. Well, evidently my review, and you guys know I don't, my reviews are not like uh, specific on details. Uh, she showed, I even mentioned it on, on the thing, she showed a hard use, you know, batoning and using outdoors. Uh, and I don't do that. You know, I say, go look at this, go look at that. I just show you and tell you what it is in my hand. So evidently, somebody thought I was uh, just liking uh, coming on to this uh, person because she's female and I resent that totally. I mean, it really it pisses me off. It really does. I got a daughter that's 42 years old. My son would have been 46. He died uh, on his 21st birthday back in 1997. That's right. I got a daughter that's 42 years old. And uh, uh, that those kind of comments uh, just pissed me off. You know what I mean? Then I got another comment on one. I was throwing a... 
I felt that a lot. The Pentagon FX, okay? This guy wants to know if I could throw it really hard to show uh, it hurting like it would a person. What kind of comment is that? So I replied, uh, and this is true. You know, I've been in martial arts since 1972. When you see a uh, uh, martial artist practice on boards, breaking boards, a one-inch pine board is equivalent to a rib. So that's why they, when they break it, of course, there's a way, you, you know, if you broke it with the grains, it breaks easier. You turn it around, it's a little bit harder. Okay, anyway, uh, I just explained that that represents, I said I could throw, I could mount the camera to the board. I've done that before. So you see me throwing it, and then when it hits the board, it kind of vibrates the camera. That shows the force. But my response is, if the knife is sharp, and you see how deep it goes, I'm not going to be hurling it like it's a brick. That doesn't even make sense. I mean, that thing's penetrating that much. That will go through cartilage the way I'm throwing it. And besides, I did tell him, you do not want to throw your weapon. That's the last resort. I always tell you guys that. Yeah, I'm kind of venting this morning after this beautiful sunrise. I should. It's just, it's just uh, you know, if you let things uh, uh, stay inside, and without venting, it festers. You know what I mean? It gets it gets worse. Then, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, I got... This one blows my mind. You guys know, man, I bought just about... I did. I bought all the BPS knives. Uh, fantastic. Every one of them. All of them. Most of them, but one or two are under $40. I absolutely loved them. And then I bought this other brand that was out of Ukraine... And that's the one I sent back. I just wasn't happy with it. I wasn't happy with the craftsmanship. The leather was just different. And it was from Ukraine. So it was no big deal. I just uh, returned it. Well, I got criticized for returning it. And the guy's buying it because he's going to support Ukraine. And I said, uh, I'm glad you're supporting also the Ukrainians. Uh, I have bought all the BPS knives. And uh, they are out of Ukraine too as well. So, anyway, those are three things that just blew my mind. I'm coming in here, and then I have a little break to check out my uh, comments. I haven't had much time, you know, over the last week or so. And then I get this, this negativity. And especially that one accusing me of uh, uh, liking this uh, Blade Sister. That's what I'll call her. Just because she's female and good looking? Come on, man. Unbelievable. And this guy was in the store with his wife or girlfriend, and they checked out my page, and they said, sure enough, that's what they thought. Come on, man. That pisses me off. Anyway, this Tactical Thursday. I feel better already. See, it's all done. It's behind me now. It's Tactical Thursday, and I'll see y'all this afternoon. Uh, we'll get home. I'll get bring my wife home, and then I'll hit the shop and the playground. Y'all take care, and sog out.